Hey YouTube, what is going on? I know I just posted a video about Mega Evolutions yesterday, but this was just leaked on a Kore on the Korean Pokemon site and is now taken off. However, it has been confirmed that there's going to be a Mega Slowbro and a Mega Audino. This is absolutely nuts. I mean, Slowbro had the Aviolite in Gen, Gen 5, it's used in Gen 6. Aldino is pretty solid in NU in that, but I always wondered why isn't it fairy? Well, it's a fairy type now, and it has the ability Healer when it's Mega Evolved, which is good and bad, but what's unfortunate about both of these Pokemon is that they both uh, cannot have Regenerator as a Mega Evolution, which is unfortunate because I definitely think that that ability is easily one of the best in the game for a uh, for a wall uh, definitely helps it there, but let's just talk about Mega Slowbro. Slowbro too. Um, so apparently that thing on his tail is caught up to him, and he's almost gone. So that's a thing, and uh, it is going to keep its typing Water Psychic, but now it's going to have the ability Shell Armor, which basically means you cannot take a critical hit. Now that's good and all. But, like I said, Regenerator would have been way better. The problem is, Shell Armor, you don't take critical hits. But, of course, as you know, Toxic and any type of status like Burn will help wear it down over time. And this isn't all bad, though. I'm definitely not saying it's horrible. No critical hits is awesome. But, of course, Toxic is always there. But he does get slack off, so it's not like he has no means of recovering his HP. So still great now Audino is normal fairy normal fairy that's really really cool but um it's it's really a double it uh, double-edged sword it does get a healer which I believe heals about I think 30% uh, HP of any teammate at any time or it takes off a status I'll put an annotation because I don't quite remember uh, which it is but normal fairy that's a very interesting typing it's immune to ghost uh, it's got let's see what else what is it I don't think it's immune to anything else of course it's immune to dragon that's awesome uh, but it is weak to steel and poison and it's neutral to fighting so that's kind of interesting uh, but yeah I mean, it, it's typing is very interesting. Uh, it is hit by only steel and poison, though. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I mean, it doesn't have many weaknesses, but it just basically gained... It basically gained two weaknesses, but lost its one fighting weakness. So, still interesting. I mean, poison and steel aren't exactly the most common attacking types, so that's really something to look out for. Plus, the fact that Audino has things like Wish, Heal Bell, it's able to restore health often, and even though it is a Mega Evolution, it's not going to have its health uh, changed at all, of course, which is fine, because it already maxes out, I think, at like 400, so, yeah, really cool. Uh, of course, you've been looking at screenshots throughout this entire video, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited for this, and one thing, too, that I do want to point out, yes, Mega Slowbro and uh, Mega Audino will not have her generator, but both of their abilities, like I said, are still very good. But um, the final thing I do want to point out really is Audino. The fact that Audino is a Mega Evolution, I mean, that's really interesting because all throughout um, X and Y, the highest generation that we had from Mega Evolution was Gen 4, Obama Snow, Garchomp, Lucario, things like that. So that was the highest generation that we had. We had nothing in Gen 5 that had a Mega Evolution. But that's the thing. If now Gen 5 is able to have Mega Evolutions, what can we expect from Generation 5? So that's going to be the video. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button. Leave a comment down below. I really, really, really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this Mega Slowbro definitely going to be incredibly bulky. Mega Audino, if it gets better defenses, awesome. If it gets better attack power, 
awesome. Really, and it could, they could go anywhere with both of these Pokemon, and I would be happy. That's pretty much how I was with all of the Mega Evolutions in Gen 6. So, once again, thank you all for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, concerns, non-concerns, happinesses, and whatever you want to call them. But yeah, finally, once again, thank you all for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you all later.